Welcome to another video in the series of die casting. Here we're going to be focusing on aluminum die casting process. What is aluminum die casting? Aluminum is a lightweight alloy which possesses high dimensional stability in complex shapes and designs with thin wall sections. Aluminum can also withstand high operating temperatures offers excellent corrosion resistance and versatility that can be utilized in many industries. The aluminum die casting process uses the cold chamber casting machine where the ingots are melted in a separate furnace and the molten metal is ladled from the holding pot for each casting because the high temperatures of molten aluminum would damage the machine if the injection mechanism were submerged as per the hot chamber process. Here is a cold chamber die casting machine layout. You can clearly see here the platens, the toggle system which closes the die, the die itself, the cast part, or in this case the cavity, the injection ram system, and where the molten metal is poured into. Let's have a look at the aluminum die casting process step by step. Step one adding the molten aluminum. Before the die halves are shut, dye lubrication or release agent is applied to the surfaces. This helps with part ejection after the casting has cooled. The die halves shut and are held together by the clamping system. The pressure of the clamping system must be greater than the force trying to open the die halves during the injection process. The pressure will depend upon the size and the complexity of the casting design. Molten aluminum is then ladled into the shock chamber ready for the injection cycle. You can see this shown in the image at the top. The molten aluminum fills the shock chamber. This is shown in the image at the bottom here. Step 2 the injection phase. The injection ram pushes the molten aluminum down the cold chamber into the die cavity. The image on the right here shows this process. During the movement, the ram seals off the input port. Pressures during the injection phase can be between 300 psi, or 1.3 tons, up to 50,000 psi, which is around 22 tons, depending upon the size of the machine. Pressure is maintained while the casting is solidifying. Pressure can be increased during this phase to ensure the cavity is completely filled and casting integrity is achieved. Step 3. The Ejection Phase once the casting has cooled sufficiently, the die is opened. The ejector system then pushes the casting out of the die half. You can see this shown in the image on the right here. During this time, the injection ram is retracted, exposing the input port. The casting is removed from the machine, either it drops clear or is removed by a robotic arm. Die lubrication or release agent is then applied to the die halves. Step 4 Die halves close. The die halves close ready for the next cycle. Basically, they are the four steps that complete this cold chamber process sequence. Here are examples of some finished die casting in aluminum. Here are a few facts regarding aluminum production. So this is the worldwide aluminum production data based on May 2019. 
you can clearly see that China is dominant in the production of aluminum around the world. Aluminum product demand increase. So China continues to be the primary driver for growth. So China has long since become the world's largest production of aluminum, but even demand is growing there faster than anywhere else. China continues to be the primary driver of growth in the aluminum industry, and e-mobility is the major factor. Global demand for primary and recycled aluminum is being fueled by the trend towards lightweight construction in the automotive industry. The consumption of aluminum is growing in the booming aerospace industry, while the upturn in the construction industry in continental Europe is also stimulating demand. In addition, demand in the mechanical engineering and packaging markets continues to increase. The global aluminum casting market size was estimated at 47.1 billion US dollars in 2018. It is anticipated to witness a compound average growth rate of 9.1% from 2019 to 2025. Upswing in the use of aluminum in automobile manufacturing and heightened demand from the building and construction sector in Asia Pacific has boosted the growth of the market. Here's one more chart showing the US aluminum casting growth from 2014 right up to 2025 as a forecast. You can see here that permanent mold casting is a dominant factor in this growth. So don't forget to check out our other videos in this series and you can contact us if you need any help with your projects at all in China. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Oh, and you see this little bell symbol? Make sure you hit that because each time we upload new content, you'll get a notification. Thanks very much for listening. My name is Paul Adams and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.